Donna, I bumped into your youngest daughter who's here today in the audience, and I, she's just a, a bubble of energy. So you did great. Thank you very much. You know, I, I have to say this because my children would get upset. I have, seven, I have seven children I gave birth to, one I adopted. So I have eight children, wow. 10 grandchildren, and eight great-grandchildren, and I look good. <laughs> you get from looking at yourself in the mirror in that prison uh, to here? Because you, you now work, uh, you've started a, a foundation, Women of the Well, mm -hmm. and, and that helps other formerly incarcerated women. Tell us about that process. When, while I was incarcerated, I saw so many of us that were just entangled. We didn't know how, what we were going to do when we got out, where we were going to go, how, where were we going to work, um, how, where were we going to live, who's going to hire us, you know. And so I started looking at what, what kind of resources were available even for me when I got out. They gave me 24 years, two 12-year sentences, and I was really blessed to be able to get out on parole. Um, by the time I got out, and there was only one place for me to go in Atlanta. And I realized there were no resources. And that if a woman does not have a non-judgmental, supportive, nurturing environment when she's released from prison, her likelihood of successful reentry is very limited. Mm -hmm. And so I look, I, you know, I also received Christ in my life when I was incarcerated and I got saved. And today I'm a pastor. Um, and I, I'm really, really grateful, but I also look, read the story about the woman at the well um, and her life. And it was the fact that she told other people about her life and what happened to her that she was able to regain her life. And so I started Woman at the Well Transition Center in Atlanta, Georgia in 1998, and we provide services to incarcerated, formerly incarcerated women and trafficking survivors. We're on the street two nights a week. Um, from 10 at night to 4 in the morning because they're not out from 8 to 5. They're out from <laughs> in the middle of the night and somebody has to be there. We've been really blessed to provide services to over 6,000 women. Um, and now our goal is to open a transitional center, a residential program for women and girls who are rescued and women and girls who are impacted by the criminal justice system uh, in Atlanta. There are 200,000 um, women and girls engaged in human trafficking, but there are only 3,000 beds available in the United States 